I'm interested on is these proteins which are at the surface of uh, a particular fungus and it uh, can be pathogenic so basically it can cause infections so we're trying to understand how the fungus can do that how does it stick to our cells and how does it stick to the, the uh, surgical instruments and basically the idea is that if we understand how it um, sticks to our cells we can then try and, and develop ways to prevent that from happening. We start with the, the DNA, this is the, like the code which will tell us what the protein is. So we select from our catalogue, if you will, the DNA codes and then we use bacteria cells to actually manufacture the protein itself. And then we take the protein out of the bacteria using various uh, machines and instruments that we have in the laboratory. We purify this, we actually try and create the sample as pure as possible because in that way we increase the chances of being able to, to obtain a crystal. Typically our users, when they come to the Diamond MX Beamlines, would have their samples pre-frozen. They bring them in sample pucks. These pucks can then be loaded into the robot dewer. This is a container filled with liquid nitrogen, which keeps them at cryogenic temperatures. We then have an automatic sample changer to load their samples for them. It means that there's, they're as efficient as possible in their experiments. I think the interactions with the beamline scientists and other researchers when you come to Diamond is, is essential, especially because in doing this kind of data collection, sometimes you step upon technical problems and it's very good to have a possibility to discuss them and get new ideas. Since the days of Dorothy Hodgkin, a lot of things have changed the way we, we, we do things, but the fundamentals are still the same, and she paved the way for what we do today. The data collected here at Diamond really has made an impact in helping us further understand the mechanisms of disease. For example, we've had good high-impact publications relating to HIV, different types of cancers, to preeclampsia relating to blood pressure. There's other research has helped understand malaria, tuberculosis, the influenza virus. So it really has a very large impact on the population as a whole. So when you finally arrive at, at the structure, after months of hard work, finally pay off and you, you get to see a structure. For some reason you tend to reach that point in the middle of the night, you just kept working all evening, you say, oh, you're almost there. And then when you finally see it and you realize you're the first one who ever see this, that's a fascinating part of science.